the Italian automotive update added a ton of awesome cars to Horizon 5. Well, some more awesome cars have been found within the files very recently. We're going to cover all of them in a second. We're also going to quickly cover a few missed out features and additions to Series 24 that we didn't talk about in the previous video. Quickly, I am giving away some Italian exotic car pack codes to you guys at random. All you have to do to be entered is to make sure you are subscribed to the channel, so subscribe if you're not already, and comment your Xbox gamer tag. I will message a few of you in a couple of days' time with a car pack code, and I'll pop your comment on screen announcing the winners in a video in a couple of days' time. Good luck. So the Series 24 graphics have been released. We can see the main features, the main fixes, the main additions to Series 24. And we've got a few graphics displaying all of the new Alfa Romeos and how and where you can unlock them. A similar graphic for the Lanciers and the same again for the Fiat and the Baths. We've got the full changelog for the update that has now released to the public. We can see that there are some new Event Lab props along with the new Accolade. You can see a list of the props on screen. I wish I had photos of the props themselves. I apologise that I don't. And then there's some evolving world changes within the update as well. There's an Italian automotive start screen, which is pretty awesome. And then there are some special billboards. Now, because we have the full changelog, we have all of the fixes that were done in the update as well, not just the brief version. So here are all of the general bug fixes for the entire update, all of the cars related fixes for the entire update, and all of the PC related fixes for the entire update. That is everything we know about Series 24 from the full changelog. Now, the cool stuff, the leaks, which is what I hope you're all subscribed for. If you're not, make sure you subscribe. We've got some more leaks, so let's talk about them. They come over from GT Planet as usual. Lately, they've been speaking about how I apparently sound like Bet Lynch, so I don't know how I feel about that. TGR55, as usual, props to him. He noticed a few more cars found within the file, so let's read his post. Found something interesting again, this time a file containing various new cars. Keep in mind that these are just references. I will remind you again, just because we're talking about these today doesn't mean we will ever get them, but it is interesting to see traces of these cars in the files that they are at least worked on. They have been considered, they exist in the files for whatever reason. So the cars that were found are the 1990 Aston Martin Lagonda, I don't know if I pronounced that right, the KTM Expo GT2, the GT4 version is already in the game, the GT2 is just even cooler. The Ford Mustang SVT from 2003, which is the, the, the Terminator Cobra type one, I think, um, that's newer than the one that's in the game now. We've got the, now this car's mental, the Ford, I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm so bad at pronunciations. Econoline Deberti, 1961 Econoline uh, Deberti design. It is a mental car. Uh, you're going to have to Google it and have a look at some pictures yourself if you want to deep dive into it. I've got a few pictures on screen. It's such a weird car. I can see that coming in some kind of collaboration update. Maybe Donut Media Part 3 is a random example. Um, got the Jaguar F-Type SVR from 2020. This is sort of an updated facelift version compared to the one that's already in the game. We've got the Bentley Continental Flying Spur from 2019. That is a huge car. I'll be interested to see that in the game. The BMW M3 from 2021 with the absolutely gorgeous front grille that no one likes, including me. The Celine S7 LM, which has around 1300 horsepower, a sort of a race spec version of the Celine. And last but not least, the Maserati MC20, which will be really cool to see in the game, that I believe has recently been added to Gran Turismo 7. So maybe there's a connection there. Maybe Maserati are getting their licenses sorted. It's now in GT7. Maybe it's coming to Horizon 5 next. We'll have to wait and see. Now, there were some more cars in there as well, like the Ferrari Roma, the 296 GTB, the SC20 and the Hurricane Technica. But those four have just been added in this latest update. So we can forget them. He did include the file itself, as we can see here. I had a quick look through it and yeah, there's a lot of cars in there that are very recent re recently released, along with the ones that he noted. Now, I'm not saying that TGR55 isn't credible, but again, we have to take everything like this with a grain of salt. It's very easy to just alter these text files like I have here. See if you can spot what I did to this one. But TGR55 has been pretty credible so far. So yeah, that's, I believe, nine new, very cool cars that have been found within them files, which 
Again, we have to add them to the leaked car list. If we go to the leaked car list, this is what it looks like nowadays. I need sort of need to hide my face cam up in this top corner because I'll be covering the cars otherwise. Um, we've made a few of them green recently. We have changed this to green as that has come from the car pack. The Lancias and the Alphas as well. So again, to this day, the list just keeps getting complete. But as you can see, we've added these nine cars down here in black because they've been found in the files. So they are now technically leaked in some way even though there's a good chance we may never see them another person who often goes through the files and he's he's sometimes the ones who sort of leak them um the admeister or the admeister he said well all i can say is with this file leaked publicly don't expect it to contain upcoming cars anymore now i think what he's trying to say is that now this file has been leaked publicly it's very obvious what cars are new in that text file we can't really expect Playgroup Games to do this anymore because it's just, it's they're leaking their own cars at the end of the day. They're ruining the, ruining the surprise unintentionally by having these files um, available. So unfortunately, the more we find files like this, the more that they will be more careful with what they leave in the files and we won't have many leaks anymore. But we've got these today, so it's something to talk about. Let me know in the comment section below which ones of these do you really want to see most? I'm quite curious. I want to see the Maserati MC20 and the M3, as hideous as it is. One last quick thing. In the live stream of the Forza Monthly a couple of days ago, Torben made a comment on the increased garage size increase. And he gave us a bit of an insight as to what it's like making changes like that behind the scenes, the technicalities behind it, you know, how it really works and why it isn't just as simple as giving us giving us a thousand more spaces in the garage. The garage size is part of your save game on all platforms. Uh, this also applies to your local livery and tune storage, both of which are increasing to a thousand. Photos are not changing in this update, so I can't talk about that just yet, but watch this space, uh, I'll have more for you uh, down the line. The save game doesn't just contain your cars, obviously. It contains a local copy of your campaign progression, as well as your cars, your liveries, and your tunes, and, and everything else. But it's reserved space, meaning that when we increase the size of the save game, we have to find and assign additional space on disk, essentially locking it in so that when we need it, we have it. If you're wondering, this update increases the size of uh, your save game to two gigabytes. That increased size means that when we synchronize that data to remote storage, we need to increase the storage we have available in the remote storage. This is what we kind of call a second tier complexity. Basically, making a change brings a lot of knock-on effects that need to be followed through and worked through and delivered. Uh, these are things like, if we increase the number of cars you can have, we also need to change and in improve the performance on screens that can show all of those cars. Going from being able to show 1,000 to being able to show 2,000 is quite a sizable change and has a lot of consequences behind the scenes. Making a change to the number of cars uh, you can have impacts so many different interconnected systems, from the bytes that are assigned on the disk through loads of different screens and systems in game, all the way out to the servers that are running in the background. I'm sorry it took so long to get this update out. But I hope this explanation provides a little bit of insight into what's actually involved in making uh, a change like that. There you are, guys. It's very interesting, and it's good to see that the developers really connect with us like that now. They give us a lot more information than we really need to know just to keep us up to date with what they're thinking and how I like to go forward with things. So, yeah, hope you've enjoyed, guys. If you like, if you have, I'll see you all later.